Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. All right, so for today's video, um, this movie has been requested a few times in the comments. This wasn't, to my knowledge, like the most requested film, but it's been popping up like every couple of months I've seen people mentioning this. So the movie that we are getting into today is the 1987 film, The Witches of Eastwick. Like I've heard of this movie. I don't know, I'm assuming it's about witches. I don't know the plot of this movie, but when I went to, like I didn't read a plot synopsis, but I did see that it has a really stacked cast. Now, it stars Jack Nicholson, and I, when I tell y'all that I love Jack Nicholson, it's on my list of, like, personal things to do to get through his entire filmography. Now, The Shining is in, like, my top five favorite movies of all time, so I love him from that. I loved him in Wolf with Michelle Pfeiffer, who's apparently also in this film. I know everybody loves Heath Ledger. I love Heath Ledger, but to the day I die, Jack Nicholson is my favorite Joker. I absolutely love him. And I've never seen this movie about Schmidt, but growing up when I was a kid, I was very, very close with my grandfather. Um, and he passed away a couple of years ago. And like, I, I have a tattoo dedicated to him. I love, oh my God, I miss my grandpa so much. If you look at the cover for About Schmidt, when I'm telling you that my grandpa and Jack Nicholson at that age looked, we're talking like identical. Like if I was walking down the street and I saw About Schmidt version Jack Nicholson walking towards me, like I think I would just shit everywhere on the street because I would think that that was my grandpa. This film also has Michelle Pfeiffer, whom I mentioned, who is like gorgeous. She's so beautiful. She's so ethereal. And <laughs> like, like Jack Nicholson, that is my Catwoman. I am as gay as the day is long, but let me tell you something. Michelle Pfeiffer in that costume in Batman Returns is like, makes me question shit. <laughs> it's got Susan Sarandon, whom I also love. I mean, I'm sure like a lot of people like will also remember her from that. You know, they'll remember her from like Thelma and Louise and stuff like that. But if you've ever watched if you're a fan of Friends, like sh she was on Friends for a while <laughs> where she was like on um, one of Joey's like soap operas. Absolutely hysterical. And of course, I would be remiss to not mention the one, the only Cher. Cher is in this movie. Now, okay, now like I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal <laughs> something that perhaps will uh, upset their gaze. I love Cher. I love, I, I think she's beautiful. I think she, she, she's just one of those like celebrities that you just love to love. And like <laughs> when she tweets, it's fucking insane. The way she types, it's, it's iconic. But I've never been a super big fan of her music. Granted, I, I don't feel like I've heard a lot of her music. Like, you know, if I could turn back time, sure. That Believe song, that is, an, that is a hard pass for me. Side story, growing up, my mom used to babysit this little girl who was like a year or two younger than me or something. And she was a nightmare. We're, we're talking like orphan levels. Awful. She was obsessed. This little girl was obsessed with the song Belief by Cher. And she would make my mother play that on a loop nonstop. Now, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I know some of y'all are Buffy fans. Uh, some of my subscribers. Y'all remember season four of Buffy episode two, Living Conditions, where Buffy had that psycho ass roommate, Kathy. And Kathy's whole thing was that she would fucking play Cher's Belief on repeat nonstop. That was this little girl. Got off track there. Let's keep this gravy train rolling. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Feel free to check me out on social media. I have both Twitter and Instagram, and you could also check me out on Patreon. You'll get access to exclusive Patreon full-length reactions, full-length audio commentaries, polls to help me pick what I watch next, and more. All right, y'all, let's get into The Witches of Eastwick. What are those little things? Those little naked dolls. <laughs> what is that? Those are some big old boobies. <gasps> Look at her. She is so fucking fabulous. You better work. Peanut butter and jelly? What kind of jelly? Oh, look at her. I mean, she looks a little disheveled, but she still looks snatched. <laughs> Ugh, ugh, imagine having all of those kids following you. Oh no. Oh, she looks great too. I mean, she always looks great. Let's be realistic. Look at the little kid in the Newsies hat over there on the left, just sitting there like. <laughs> you see, you 
a divorce final yet? Uh, yes, today. Maybe we can work something out. Ugh. Oh, so he's like a cr oh. <gasps> Ew, nasty ass. Ugh, gross. Fucking Harvey Weinstein ass. Ugh. And the fact that he literally just did that in front of the children. I mean, I don't care about the children, but you know what I mean. No, ma'am. <laughs> Why does she look familiar? Oh God, hold on. Now I gotta do my thing. I gotta look it up. A few moments later. I knew it, I knew it. It's Veronica Cartwright. I, Cause she looks a little bit different here with a different hair color, but I was like, I'm getting annoyed because I'm like, I can I can hear her like annoyingly crying, scream whining in my head. But I'm like, why? And then I was like, oh, that's because it's fucking Lambert from Alien. Oh God. Well, thank you, Miss Barbert. I can see we have our work cut out for Oh my God, Ugh, trash. A trash human being, that's what that is. Fighting the wars of modern vice. Look at her, look at her, look at her. She looks fucking over it with all these kids. Man, fuck them kids. Also though, she looks like a fetus. Like she looks so young in this movie. <laughs> Why is he, like, really though? I mean, not that I expect any sort of intelligence from this piece of trash, but like, why is he still continuing to try and read when it's like <laughs> suddenly like a crazy thunderstorm and he's still up there in front of the electronic microphone, still trying to fucking, well, you know what, continue on. Maybe I'll get electrocuted. Here's hoping. I was praying for something to happen. I was thinking the exact same thing. I was thinking he was all wet and wouldn't it be nice if we could just get out of here? Okay, so they're like, I'm guessing they don't know that they're like witches or something, but the fact that all three of them were thinking about the same thing, they like made it happen. So we were all thinking the same thing at the same time, Suki. I mean, so what? I mean, it's not like it's gonna get us on David Letterman. Her name is Suki? Like Suki? Like Suki Stackhouse? Hey, queen. Maybe she's a fairy. He made a pass at me last week too. Walter? I hope this movie is just about that banding together and taking out all these nasty chesters. She has to have it once a week or she starts throwing things. Yeah, well, at least somebody's getting something once a week. Yes, heartburn. <laughs> Same, sis. Same. He deserted you and left you with five kids. Six. Six. Don't start, Alex. Wait, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. W did she have all these kids before they got married? I mean, I could understand the, the grief of having six... F well, I can't understand the grief, but like six kids following you? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Ozzy's dead. Does that mean that I have to spend the rest of my life having drinks with you two every Thursday night? Don't be mean, Miss Cher, but oh, that's sad. Her husband died. We definitely have to be from out of town. Mm. Oh, a stranger, that would be interesting. If we're gonna have it, let's have it all. Oh wait, so they're all sitting there talking about how they want this man from out of town, this mysterious guy to come through. But like in the beginning of the movie, they basically made that rainstorm happen, right? So the fact that they're all collectively sitting here talking about this means that they're about to like do some unknown juju stuff and then somebody's gonna come into town. <gasps> Is it Jack, Jack Nicholson? Sam was huge and there were times when I just could not face it. All right, who cares? As long as it works, it's in. <laughs> Cher is speaking for all of us. <laughs> I can't talk about stuff like that. That's untoward. It's a nice thought, but wishing for it's not going to make it happen, is it? I don't think that men are the answer to everything. Men are certainly not the answer to everything. And I'm speaking as a man. Oftentimes, we kind of suck. Well, they told me his name, you know, for the column, and I forgot it, right? So I called him back, and it's gone again, right out of my head. That's some witchcraft. He's a warlock, I think. I, maybe Jack Nicholson is a warlock. Who's that, Clyde and Felicia? Yeah. She did it again. She knew that, she knew who was outside of the room. They're all witches, or psychics, or fairies, or some shit. Really, queen? Did you hear that someone bought the Lennox Mansion? <laughs> What? Why do we not like the Lennox Mansion? What's up with that? I have a feeling, Clyde. Some things happen and something evil. What? Is she a witch too? Like, where is this coming from? Out of absolutely nowhere, this man appeared. And I found myself thinking thoughts I hadn't entertained since World War II. I, th I think I actually blushed. Girl, what were those thoughts you were thinking of? Stop! You don't happen to remember his name by any chance? Yes, of course. His name is... That's a neat little trick that he's got that uh, that nobody can remember his name. That's kind of like in a, a, a Buffy reference again. Ben in season five, how Ben and Gloria are the same person and they like switch back and forth into each other, but anybody that sees it instantly forgets to protect the secret. I like it. Is that the sound of someone snoring? What is that? Oops, <laughs> I farted. I, I didn't think you would hear me. Is that Jack? Uh, is he all right? 
Rafi! Look at him! Oh, my grandpa! I would love to meet Jack Nicholson. Oh my, I'm sure that that man in no way, shape, or form does meet and greet, so <laughs> probably not gonna happen, but I would love to meet Jack Nicholson. Check from him with a personal note. It's just the initial D. Yeah, 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 it, it starts with a D. It always starts with a D. I thought no, that's right! Oh, Daryl, that's it! Stop! Oh. Van Horn. Yes! Daryl Van Horn. Daryl Van Horn? Oh no. Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Damn, she ate shit. Oh, that's such a pretty shot. Like the greens are so green and vibrant. And then you have the, you know, the beauty that is share in the middle of the frame. Haven't seen any snowy aigrettes out here. You want some lunch? No, I think it's a little late in the season. For lunch? He's so fucking cool. <laughs> also, whatever this jacket he's got on is, I like, I need it in my closet right now. You better be careful, though. Some girl got her ass whipped and a little jacket stolen early today. Alexandra Medford. The local sculptress. The one that makes the little booby dolls. And I, oh. The little booby dolls. Honey, those were not little boobies. Potent. You can feel it when you pick them up. I feel like that there's messaging in this movie. There's lots of references to like penises. They had the whole conversation about like penis sizes. You know, she was like drawing the D and they keep calling about the D and the D is so important. Think about the size, go bigger, go bigger. This is like a very penis focused movie. Nothing my cock can't handle. Fidel, that's his name. Women love him. He has a big schlong, huge. <laughs> penis. Men running around trying to put their dicks into everything, but it's women who are the source, the only power. Yes, yes. I am team women. Women have all the power. C1 Buffy and Summers. Power. I have it. They don't. Are you married? Good question. You see, rain. The answer is no. That man is so tall. Is that? Hold on, I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. Before I look this up, is that the man from Adam's family? A few minutes later. It is. It is. It is. It's Lurch. What is it that you think you're doing? Just direct with you as I know how. I thought you might appreciate it. <laughs> He's so silly. <laughs> Always like a little pussy after lunch. I thought I might have misheard. Are you trying to seduce me? Is that what he thinks he's doing? You are the most unattractive man I have ever met. Physically repulsive. You're morally <laughs> reprehensible. <laughs> She's dragging him for the gods of the gods. A lousy sense of humor and you smell. You know, you're not even interesting enough to make me sick. <laughs> oh my god. The library is open. Because reading is what? Fundamental. Who are you? Just your average horny little devil. <gasps> is he the devil? Oh no. He was like quirky in the beginning and I was very unsure of like where they were going with his character, but then he just started to be a pig as soon as he opened his mouth when he got on that bed. No ma'am. You sit there in that pathetic excuse of an office, putting gossip well under your very nose. Evil. She broke her leg, not her arms. Why the fuck is he feeding her? Murder? Rape? Why these words, they mean nothing to you. Ew. Oh, sis. Clean your shit up. You're fucking messy. Ah! There she goes with that fucking screaming again. Oh, I'm having flashbacks to the Nostromo. Oh. Look at her. Y'all, I would be un stoppable if I looked like Michelle Pfeiffer. Hi. Ah! Shut the ah! fuck up! <laughs> Jane, last we meet. Oh, Susan, you aren't ready for this motherfucker. Ooh, no. All right, how long till he starts talking about dicks? Probably won't be long. I like the house. They say they used to burn people there, witches. Hocus pocus. Oh, okay, so they used to burn witches at the house. Male-dominated professional society exploiting females. Men are such cocksuckers, aren't they? What would I say? Your sublime thumb position. Beautiful callus. Ew. <laughs> um, excuse me. Trust me. Jack, Jack, stop. Jack. Not this. Oh, well, that was still inappropriate. Let it go. What are you afraid of? You have great passion in you. Let it out. 
preying on their insecurities. That's what he's doing. Because Cher was like insecure about like not feeling fulfilled in her life and you know, like everything seeming mundane. Susan Sarandon, she's insecure about her music abilities. Oh no, what is he gonna do to Michelle? I don't believe it. Neither do I. But I swear to God, I can barely walk for two days. <laughs> Penis and bends the wrong way. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Outside of porn tells, I don't think I've ever seen a movie that's talked about penises this much. Hello! Mm, darling. There you are. Hi, are we late? Not at all. Look, look at him adjusting his penis. <laughs> what the fuck? Why, you are a fertile <laughs> creature, aren't you? He just called her fertile. Just the two of us banging away head to head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he is so fing horny. Oh my god. They are out of control. Are you going to seduce me too? Well, I should warn you, I get pregnant. I mean, I get pregnant all the time. The drop of a hat, I could borrow your toothbrush and get pregnant. Ugh, that is f***ing awful. Can you, oh, that is awful. That is awful. I'd love to be a woman. Make babies. Make milk to feed the babies. Um, uh, that, uh, women aren't just around to shoot out children. Oh, well, he's claimed another. I don't know if he was just like playing because obviously she's like insecure about having all the kids because her husband left her. So I don't know if he was playing on that insecurity. I mean, probably. Or if there was something else to the fact he said like he wished that he was a woman because they could make babies. Like maybe he's trying to make little devil babies with all of them. <laughs> that is correct. <gasps> Look at Michelle with the top hat. She's giving me like a mixture of Rose the Hat and like Stevie Nicks. And I, oh my God, am I here for that? All right, I'm gonna need you to get down, Sia. I mean, that's awesome. Can you imagine like, I mean, yeah, I would love to be able to go into space when it's like hella f***ing safe. I always imagine what it would be like to not have anything like touching you. Like you're always touching something. Your feet are on the floor, your ass is on the couch. It would be just be cool to experience that feeling of nothing touching your body. I always see snakes. I do hundreds of them and they're crawling all over me and I disappear and- Oh, she looks gorgeous in that shot. I don't mind that it's a short life. Just see, can you never not be gay for five seconds? Un unstoppable. I'm telling y'all, unstoppable if I look like her. 90% of my days, if I look like her, would be spent in that Catwoman suit. Meow. Bet. Horse. 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 She has lost it. You know what's going on in that house? Dildos. Anal intercourse. <laughs> I have nothing against a good fuck, but there is danger here. I <laughs> was not expecting those words out of her mouth. I like it though. Now we're gonna pick up our instruments, and when I count to four, we're gonna play the shit out of this thing. <laughs> wow! You know, I feel like I've never maybe noticed this before. She's kind of got like the bag things under her eyes, like I do, and I'm like super insecure about it. But like, look at her, she looks stunning. I'm gonna take a little bit of Susan Sarandon energy and embrace the bags. Double, double chocolate, these are fabulous. Oh, I live for her. I live for her in this movie. She is the moment. Are you buying the paper or not? Uh -huh. What did you say? Throw hands. Throw hands. She's a very sick woman, Suki, and she's having a very bad time. I don't know what to do. I want her to see a doctor. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, I would say that she probably needs one, but whatever she's dealing with is probably magically influenced, so. All these terrible things that she's been saying, they're not true, are they? Well. I do not want to comment. I think we should stop seeing each other. Yes, let's not overreact. I think we should. Michelle, you are, you are on the right track. Don't let her get to you. Have a cherry. Oh no, that's like the forbidden fruit. They're selling pornography at Skylar's new shop. Children are looking at this. <laughs> what is wrong with her now? He's trying to get inside me, Clyde. Oh honey, I think he's already inside you. That's what she said, that's what she said, that's what she said. Good one. Oh, oh no. Those women are gonna bear him, son going to take their love and continue to destroy the earth with it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was suspecting. 
<laughs> oh god. Take her to a fucking hospital. Or an exorcist. <gasps> What did he just do? Did he just kill her? What? I, why do we have to do everything Daryl says? What is happening to us? She's right, Jack. Don't start with me, God, Alex. some man comes along and nothing else matters. Well, to be fair, Susan Sarandon seems the most, like, under the influence so far. Michelle Pfeiffer seems to be somewhat able to see through the, the shroud. In case you know you were really missing me and you were too embarrassed to call, I thought I'd call first. That way you could still feel superior. And Ugh, okay. There's less of the charm now. Not that his actions in any way, shape, or form throughout this movie were were like, you know, morally acceptable, but like the facade seems to be kind of dropping a little bit. I can't talk to you, all right? I don't call me because I-, Alex, I just... don't hang up. Alex, don't do this. Alex, this is not fair. There comes the traditional <laughs> Jack Nichols in anger. Oh shit, I said over easy. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> he is pressed. These are my favorite fruit. I can't accept those girls. What was the fruit? Was that a pomegranate? Because I feel like I, I I heard that like the whole thing about like the, the Garden of Eden and the apple, that it wasn't actually an apple, that it was a pomegranate. The fact that Lurch is so fucking tall that he could just like, <laughs> he doesn't even use the stairs. He could just stand there and look in the window. Also, Lurch literally is giving me a Ben Willis cosplay right now. What are you He put a D on her door. What does that mean? Like the dick is coming for you? Ain't nobody want that devil dick. There's nothing wrong with you. You're pregnant. Uh! Fire! Fire! Come out from the crime! Do you need a doctor? We could recommend someone. No, 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 I, uh, no, I, I, thank you so much. Oh, why does Susan seem like the weak link here? Is it because like, as a regular person, she was a little bit more like meek and mild? Sure, yeah, please let that be a clue. He thinks I'm possessed by some sort of dick devil. <gasps> oh, oh, her hand. Wait, why does she look like an old lady now? Alex. Oh, wait, because she said that she saw everything disintegrating, and then Cher said that she saw snakes. So is he like trying to like punish them now? Oh my god, no, she's got snakes in the bed. Oh my god, I would fucking, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Shit, there'd be shit everywhere. On the walls, on the ceiling, outside, in the garden, in my fridge, everywhere. I don't know why there has to be so much pain. Oh no. Oh no, don't hurt her. Also, what the hell is all over her face? Is that supposed to be like chocolate? Like she's supposed to be like eating her feelings? Why does she have blood on her hands? Where is she bleeding from? <gasps> oh, that's dark sided. Find me a church. Find me a church. Y'all shouldn't trust those kids either. Those look like the little white haired kids from American Horror Story Hotel. Ooh. I'm pregnant. So am I. Yeah, y'all got devil babies in you. You deserted me. We had a deal. That's no reason to- Yes, it is. You pissed me off. Yeah, y'all made a deal with the devil. I want a little respect. I want somebody to take care of me for a change. You need to find a highly qualified psychiatrist, not a psychologist. You're gonna need some drugs. Is she like just playing along? Is, is, this, is this a facade? I hope so. <laughs> Cause if she is falling for his dumb dumbness again. Really queen? That is so gorgeous. I would love to go to that mansion. I just wanna like live a life where I just get to travel all over the world and like visit mansions and castles and just giant homes. I love it. In high school, or maybe it was middle school, I used to go with my friend and we would go to like when they would build the like the new housing communities and stuff and they would have all the model homes. We would go and pretend that we were brother and sister and we would lie and be like, yeah, we just moved to town with our dad, but he's like really, really busy with work. So he wanted us to go and like scout out new houses. And we were like 14 years old and they, you, they had to have known. I used to love doing that. Look at them though. I mean, situation aside, they look snatched. Oh. 
What is their game plan here? Maybe they're gonna burn down the mansion. Are they like casting a spell? It doesn't look like him. It doesn't have to look exactly like him, sweetheart. We know who it is. We should have saved a little hair for his head. He looks a little funny. <laughs> look at little tiny little wiener. <laughs> oh, this movie's obsessed. And um, some chocolate chocolate chip. <laughs> oh, yep, they're f***ing him up now. Oh, oh. Not the chocolate chocolate chip! Girls, what are you doing? You brought this on yourself. <laughs> they, I mean, they are bringing new meaning to the term, drag him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks tore up. <laughs> Hi. Oh no, not this again. Uh. Build up our immune systems. <laughs> wow, that was so powerful. <sighs> this man... Character aside, this man, Jack Nicholson, is just, uh His acting ability is just out of this world. Academy Award. <laughs> I don't know if that's enough. Y'all just need to keep sticking them. No! Oh my god. That voodoo doll is still doing its thing. And he is hang- he is hanging out of the fucking car. What are, what, uh, oh, where are you gonna put it? Where are you gonna put it? Oh, well. I feel like the dog is gonna like try and eat it and then like eat Jack Nicholson inadvertently. <laughs> oh my God, he looks a mess. Y'all should have stuck that damn voodoo doll down the, uh, what's the thing in the sink? Garbage disposal. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Just start breaking the arms off of it and shit. That can't be good. I don't think they killed him. That might have just like broken the curse or something, or the voodoo spell. Oh! Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck is that? This motherfucker is Clifford size. What? What is that? Ew, ooh, what is that? <laughs> oh my God, what was that? 18 months later. Oh, oh, they're, they're gonna have all them demon babies. Oh man, and Michelle Pfeiffer already has like 37 kids. I can think about him if I want to. Not when the three of us are together. Do you want him back? No, n no, no, no man. Good boys, we're gonna do just fine. Come on to daddy to be a big kid. Oh, nuts. Oh, ladies, come on. All right, you guys, so that was Witches of Eastwick. That movie was really, really fun. I really, really enjoyed that. I am a little bit upset that I have not seen this before now because I could have had my entire life being able to obsess over this movie because 100% here on out, I will be obsessed with this movie. This movie was fabulous. Jack Nicholson, the f***ing performance that he put on was top notch. All three of my ladies, Cher, Susan, Michelle. Oh, this movie was funny when it needed to be. It was clever when it needed to be. Oh, I just loved it. If you guys have any other recommendations that are similar to something like this, because I feel like the horror comedy mix, like, like that's my vibe. This month we had Death Becomes Her, which was fabulous. We had Witches of Eastwick, which was fabulous. What is going to be the next installment in the fabulous franchise. Let me know down in the comments and I will see you for the next one.